Hi, I'm Debbie the Roboteer, and I'm here with Expert Village to help show you how to make a rag rug on a handmade loom. Now, I really like this pattern, and this is all just over and under weave, but now here in the center of the rug, I'd like it to have a little pattern. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take every three and go over and under. And when I do that and I lay two layers of it on, it'll have more of a checkerboard pattern right there. So there you can see there's three on the bottom. Here's three on the top. Here's three on the bottom. So I want these three on the top. And you'll see it's a bigger piece of cloth then in there. So if I get two or three of those laid on, it'll be a nice pattern. Now I can go back to the plain stuff three on top. So there you can see there's three on the bottom, two or three on top, there's three. Three on the bottom, three on the top. The big problem with this is that it's not as strong there, so you don't want to do a pattern like that too much on a rag loom because we're using such a wide piece of material. When you're using smaller material like uh, yarn, it really is easy to do that and go in there and make patterns. Three on the bottom, three on the top. And then after I've got these laid in here like this, I want to make sure that I have the strong part to about where I started the pattern. So I want to do just single weave right over here. That's on the bottom, I want it on the top. This one comes up. This one's on the bottom. I want it to come to the top. This one's on the bottom. I want it to come to the top. This one's on the bottom. I want it to come to the top. And then here. So you can actually turn around when you've got a long one and go the other way. So this one's on the bottom. I want it to come to the top. And in fact, I know I just want a few from the bottom to go to the top. So I can take three here, bottom, top, bottom, top. Just make sure everything's in the right place. And I can run my thread under it. 